Summer is the time to get out and enjoy that warm weather, but it is also time to be careful, especially around dusk and dawn. Health officials say that's when you may most likely be vulnerable to West Nile virus and Lyme disease. News 8's Tina Detail is in the New London Newsroom of the day with what folks should look out for. This is the time of year people are encouraged to get out and be active, but it's also the time of year when mosquitoes and ticks can cause some pretty serious health risks. The message here, enjoy the outdoors, but be aware. If you feel ill, if you're getting those fever symptoms, then go see your doctor because that's the most important part is to take a proactive approach to your health. Similar symptoms can be found with both West Nile virus transmitted through mosquito bites and Lyme disease, which you can get from deer ticks. A red bullseye often appears at that bite site. I'm checking myself every day and my dog because she usually gets a lot of ticks sometimes. To reduce the risk of Lyme disease, keep your lawn mowed, keep brush away from the house, and wear protective clothing. It's not enough just to wear long sleeve tops and long pants. Now, loose fitting clothes like this are good to keep the mosquitoes away, but if you're heading into the woods or into a field, they really tell you you need to tuck your pants into your socks. It's not too fashionable, but that will keep ticks away from your body. Now, when you get home, you're also told to check those clothes because you could be bringing ticks home with you. There are also ways to keep mosquitoes away. Well, the basic thing is, you know, making sure you have things like screens on your windows in your home. Last year was the most severe West Nile virus season, but so far this year, no signs of the disease in mosquitoes tested in Connecticut. It is a concern, especially with the outbreaks that they've had in the past few years. Health officials say it is also important to have a primary care provider to turn to for help. And if you don't have one, you can give your local health district a call. In the New London Newsroom at the day, Tina Detell, News 8.